the existence of other people's problems does not diminish your problems. <laughs> headquarters revolution gang if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution also make sure that you press the little bell to turn on your post notifications so you know every single time I post for the good times for the vibes say it with me now for the babies <laughs> because we always do it for the babies Ugh. okay guys so I need to be quick with this video because I am at work, honey, and this is my one hour lunch break that I'm utilizing to record this video. So I need to hurry up so I can also have time to eat and get back to work because I have a job. And I'm an adult and I work for a living every day of my life, nonstop. Monday to Friday, week by week. Today's video is going to be about the ghettoness of adulthood and the ghettoness of working and pretty much the adaptation of transitioning from a college student, university student to working and building your job and your career. And like guys, first of all, she wasn't ready. You and I are gonna argue, we're gonna fight because I know some of you have been in this position before, are in this position. And I wanna know why you didn't tell me. I want to understand why you didn't tell me that this was gonna be so ghetto, so hard, so ridiculous, so annoying, so tiring, so I hate it here. Honestly, honestly, nobody warns you about the shock to your system, the pure absolute shock to your system that it is to go from being a full-time um, student in uni to being a working adult. And it is a pure shock. It rocks you to your core. It's like, she wasn't ready. This transition from being a full-time like, student um, to full-time working has been so shocking has been so difficult guys it's been such a struggle first of all go. one of the first points i want to talk about is the loss of flexibility of your time and your scheduling so you know when you're in uni right um you only have class tuesday wednesday thursday monday friday monday friday you don't have class or some days your day starts at 12 it finished at 2 or some days starts at 12 you finish at 9 you know what i mean some days are a full day of just working on assignments and you don't have anything like you have so much flexibility in your timing when it comes to actually working now you lose that flexibility of your time so now there's no sometimes tomorrow my day starts at 12 ends at 2 now it's going from this flexible schedule to i have work every single day monday to friday from nine to six and that's another thing nobody tells you okay nobody told me that work is actually nine to six okay you always hear them say nine to five nine to five it's nine to six you know um because the reason why it's six is because they factor in that hour long lunch break you're gonna take and you must work your hours so you finish at 6 p.m because from 12 to 1 you're gonna take an hour long break so it's actually from nine to six number one um so it's like going from a flexible schedule and knowing that, oh, okay, tomorrow I'll get to sleep a little bit extra um, to full blown nine o'clock in the morning, you must be at work working um, to 6 p.m. and then you go home. So that loss of flexibility is something that's been so hard to, to adapt to. Because I know when I was in uni even, if I had a project to complete knowing myself, I would save it for a time when I have a late class. So I'll, I I am a night owl. I'm not a morning person. I don't like talking in the morning. Um, I don't like, honestly, conversations need to only start after 12. This thing of talking before 12, okay, fine. We'll make it 10. We'll make it 10 just to be nice to the babies. But like, not a morning person. I don't feel effective in the morning. My head is groggy, but I'm a night owl. I feel my brain awaken. I get energized in the nighttime. So for me, when I had assignments to work on, I sometimes would arrange it so that I work on an assignment where I can literally sleep at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 
4 a.m. 5 working on an assignment but in return I will get to wake up later the next day but now when you have work there's no such thing as like oh I work better at night so I'm gonna um, structure my work so that I work through the night no because you have work the next day nine o'clock in the morning eight o'clock in the morning and that's when work starts that's not when you wake up you need to wake up early get ready commute get to work and ready to work start working by 9 a.m and for for context i'm talking about someone who's working a corporate job right so i have corporate working hours structured working hours now i'm an accountant so like um, what comes with accounting even is right now I'm working nine to six but you know in accounting there's something called the busy season and that's when they even tell you you're gonna start working from 9 to 11 p.m. to sometimes midnight sometimes 1 a.m. you the standard working hours for a week is 40 hours you're gonna work minimum 50 hours a week 55 minimum 55 hours in that week and something that links to it as well that I had mentioned right is that it's such an adaption when you're not a morning person. I don't enjoy speaking in the morning. I have nothing to say in the morning. I don't feel like smiling in the morning. My head is groggy in the morning. Like I'm just slow, I'm tired. As the day goes by, I feel myself activate and, and wake up a bit more. But when you're working a job, there's no such thing as I'm not a morning person because you have early morning meetings, if you do. You have to go into work in person and talk to people, right? You can't just be like a bad attitude person in the mornings every single day because that's just me. You know what I mean? So um, that's that's another thing that's been an, ad an adjustment too is if you are a non-morning person, baby, baby. I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information. You're going to have to become a morning person, baby. You're going to have to adapt. <laughs> and do as adults do. The reason why the loss of flexibility is hard for me as well is because I am not a person who enjoys routine. It's funny, I like structure, I like things that are organized and make sense, but I feel caged by routine. I don't like having to follow a set routine Monday to Friday and this is exactly what I'm doing and every day is, apart from taking on different tasks at work but every day is the same I wake up every day I walk the same route I commute the same route I drive the same route every day every day every day maybe there'll be a few differences here and there but like every day is the same structure sit in the same place I have this joke with one of my colleagues where every time I see him I'll be like every day huh and he'll be like every day or he'll say that to me and I'll be like every day same way I saw you today I'll say it tomorrow every day to me i feel i feel caged by routine right and that's crazy i don't know how my personality works but so it's been an adapt sometimes i feel caged by the fact that i just live this routine life like sometimes i'll wake up and i'm like another day of this again so Veda guys like work is every day like it's just it's just every day it's so mind-boggling I know it sounds stupid but work is just every single day week by week by week by week by week Monday to Friday month to month week to week like and work can be for years work can be for so many years and this is leading me to my next point okay is that and this is something where I need to be the one to change my mindset. I'm still in the process of figuring out how I need to tune my mind to adapt to this new place I'm in. But like, for me, right, when I was in school, every day that you go through is leading you towards something. So for instance, um, in school you have so many breaks you have the three month break in between you have the December break which is like a month and a half or two months or whatever so like every week that you're going through you know is leading you closer to the end of a semester the end of something the closing of something and in the closing of that semester I know that I'm one step closer to becoming a senior or a junior or that's the end of the academic year so I'm now progressing from junior to senior so just that feeling of like every even though I'm doing this every day every day is leading me to becoming a uh, a junior or a senior and and every day that I make those strides is leading me to graduating and being done with the chapter being closed being finished a conclusion right it just feels like you're working towards something and again with the passing of the weeks you know you're leading towards summer break you know you're leading to December break which is winter break um, here in America but like when it comes to work right work can be forever guys people can spend 20 years at a corporation 30 years at a corporation like your whole working years at one single company so it's like 
on one side work has promotions right where it's like the work you're putting in is leading you towards becoming a VP, uh, 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 this or that, or this or that, whatever promotion is available at your work. But to me, I'm so, I can't wrap my head around the fact that this could, if I wanted to, I could be here for 20 years, 30 years. I can't wrap my head around that. It's not a four year degree or whatever where I'm here for four years, guys. I must make my mark. Every year I'm progressing or blah, 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 and then I'm done. So like the idea of the fact that this could be forever, there's no end in sight, is so mind boggling to me. It's it's really hard to take in and accept, right? And, and this differs from person to person. Some people know that I'm gonna be here for five years, two years, and then I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do that. But we know we make plans and God loves. So I'm, I'm new to this job, I'm new to this place, so I'm still understanding what I want for myself. So for right now, for the present moment, I'm just here in this job. And this could be literally for 20 years or what, however many years I want. And so that feeling of like, what am I working towards? What am I working towards? What am I working towards? You know, um, every year passes by. Well, the company I'm in, they do yearly promotions. Um, and that's just the structure that it is for my industry or for the particular company I'm in. So I guess at least you know that from year to year, work hard enough, you're gonna go from this to that to that to that. So you can say you're working towards that. But again, it's like, it's just, I don't know. The idea of it potentially potentially being never ending is, is something I can't, it's like I can't even understand it. So there's that. And then like when it comes to work as well, there's no like designated for sure three month work, like three month school holiday. Three months guys where you know you get to vibe. You're not looking forward to summer cause you know, oh summertime I'm gonna, you know what I mean? It's just, the weeks go by and you're, there's no, you just keep going and keep going and keep going. Maybe you get a week in December or whatever you, you may or may not get, but it's like, I don't know that to me just feels I don't know you know and that links me to my next point right which is like school gives you these designated times off where you know you're gonna get three months or two months or whatever it's a lot of time that you get to use for yourself and get a break and enjoy your life all that time belongs to yourself you'll structure it how you want to but work is not the same because work has maybe a week break or two week break but like you don't get a lot of time to just do what you want to do. You need time off. You need to apply for leave. And I guess that part is what is so trippy for me that like, unless I'm applying for leave, I, um, and apart from like the few breaks that you may or may not get depending on the company, there's just no breaks. They just, you're not working towards a break unless you've applied for leave and you're going to plan a trip. It's just like, it's just work continuous, continuous. And the whole idea of having to apply for leave, that's my next point, right? Is it feels like my time doesn't belong to me. It feels like I don't belong to me. Like when I want to take time to do things that I want to do for my life, I need to request time off. Like I need to ask for permission for me to have my time so I can do things that I want to do to live my life, right? It, it kind of feels like I don't belong to myself, you know? And they can say no. I can request leave and they can say no. No, you can't have your time to do what you want to do for your life because we said so. It feels like ownership. It feels like, it feels like I belong to someone, right? Like my time really isn't mine. I'm just not mine. I need permission for me and for, to, to have myself and my time. And that's trippy for me. And maybe I'm thinking about it the wrong way. Again, I'm still new to work into this world. So I'm taking in all of these things. I'm processing them. I'm understanding them. At some point, I'm going to need to change my mindset um, so I can think and behave in a way that makes this bearable for me. Because if I think about these things the way I'm thinking about them right now, it's not sustainable. So I'm also in the process of changing my mindset so I can make this more palatable. But for right now, it's all just hitting me. These are raw emotions that are hitting me and that I'm sharing with you right now. So yeah, it just feels like my time um, doesn't belong to me. And that also leads me to my next point, which is work is so consuming. It's all consuming. It can become your life, you know? Yes, your standard work hours are nine to six, but chances are, depending on your job, you're working overtime already. So you're staying until seven, you're staying until eight, you're going home and you're working some more, you're going back and you're doing it the next day. It is so time consuming, right? And also um, you work all day, 
So you wake up in the morning early enough to get ready for work. You spend an hour or, or 30 minutes or however long it takes you to commute, you get to work. You spend all day there. You give yourself to other people and then you have to commute home. Your commute could take you an hour, 30 minutes, two hours. Your commute might be two, three taxis. Your commute might be an hour drive, a 40 minute drive, a 10 minute drive, a 10 minute walk, right? But then you commute home. By the time you get home, now you need to clean up your house. You need to cook, you need to eat, you need to wash your dishes. You know, you need to take do your responsibilities around your house. If you're a parent, you need to parent your kids. Bro, imagine coming home from work and having to do long division. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I have newfound respect for parents. Ain't no way. Coming back home and I must do long division. Coming back home and somebody's gonna be like, Mama, I have a bridge project due tomorrow, by the way. Bro, it's 8 p.m. Somebody come and look at this. I have a bridge project due tomorrow. I need glue, it's 8 p.m. What's open? Where am I gonna get glue? It's 8 p.m. How am I gonna build a bridge, bro? What? Yo, and like, I have so much respect for those people who like during the week have energy to go be an usher at church, bruh. What? And it's not cause like, I'm just using that as an example, but like having the time, the energy to even go volunteer your time at church, or, like, are you not tired? I don't, I'm so tired when I come back from work, bro. Like, I come back home, I get my mail, I sort through my mail, if I even do that. I, I, I clean up my house, I cook or I eat, I do my dishes, and then I go to the gym or I go for a walk. By the time I'm, I come back, I shower. By the time I'm done with all of that, it's time to sleep. It's like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. I need to start winding down so I can sleep because I have to sleep early so I can get enough sleep so I can wake up and be energized to do this thing again tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. And it's like... What life work is so life consuming work and the commute it takes to go to work and back from work you have like four hours after work if even to yourself and if you're a parent or a wife or a husband that time is not even doesn't even belong to you it belongs to your family your husband your wife it belongs to the church if you're going to be an usher church like you have such little time to yourself you know like you have such little time to to be, to breathe, to read, to think, you know, you have to push to make time, you know? So like that's been overwhelming for me. And again, this thing is every single day. Obviously I'm speaking from like an entry level nine to five, nine to six job. There are people who are execs, who are whatever, who have more flexibility over their time, but I'm not at that point yet. So I'm speaking to people who can relate to what I'm saying right now. The last thing I want to talk about with the transition from being a college student to being a full-time working person is also just like the new added responsibilities you have when you work like you know when you go to school nobody's nobody like if you want to fail you'll fail if you don't want to work you won't work like it's it's whatever it's whatever you do whatever your family like it's, it's on you you know but work is so real the work that you do impacts another person impacts tomorrow they could call you up on the work you did last year and it, you must account for it next year or the year after because it formed the basis of work that was done before you know like just going from a place of being self-accountable and your work being for you to now your work being a part of a group and a company and a project and having to be accountable to others. Like sometimes I'm at work and they want me to send an email to the client or produce certain work and I'm like, are you sure? Hey, hey, he's not make sure. He's just too, he's not make sure. You really want to build on work that I did? You trust me? You trust what I just put together? I just got here i really don't know if you are wise in using the work i put together because are you sure but like that new added level of responsibility where the work you're doing every day it's not just passing me an assignment whoop done with the assignment and you move on like it has impact to tomorrow and the next year and the next day and it has an impact on the team you know so that's really been an, an adjustment of like oh my god this is serious i'm grown now this means something and having to answer to people regarding your time, your work, the quality of your work, being answerable to people. It's, it's also been a big adapt, uh, adaption. Um, is that the right word? Adaption, adaptation, no, adaptation, eh? Adapting, Hey, it's been hard, how, you understand? You know, so that's also been like, whoa, the new meaning of your work. And then also now the, the new role you have at work, but also the new role you have in life, right? Having these new responsibilities. Like now I'm a woman in society and it feels real now. You know, like now I, I don't know how to explain it. Like I have bills now and these are adult bills. I don't know how to explain it. Like 
everything is so serious. I'm just not young anymore and I don't feel ready to be this grown and I don't feel this grown. But the world sees me as this grown and I am this grown and I must be this grown. So the new levels of responsibilities that I just add on to you and you must automatically have the mindset and the mind and the behavior and the response the sense of responsibility you get away with so much in uni but now you go from oh you can get away with so much to like hey get it together you know and also guys like something that I want to talk about that is not one of my concerns is that like I, I, I also have compassion I want to give light to those people who are having to work more than one job to get by even stretch themselves even further than that one corporate job or whatever job you have right and working so hard and giving your life to work and not having enough money to get by like you give your life to work and you still don't have enough money to pay your bills and you still don't have enough money to eat you know like that's hard guys let's stop and think about that for a moment like that's hard that's so hard committing yourself to work and these people and everything and you still don't have enough money to get by you still can't pay your bills and you're drowning in debt and every day you're still thinking about how am i going to get by someone who's waking up and going to work every day you know that's really really hard and i'm not talking about those who mismanage their funds because sometimes you're just mismanaging your funds and you need to learn how to uh, manage your funds better you know for your own sake but um you know that whole idea when Kim K was like, some people are lazy and they just don't want to get up and work. That's so insulting, you know, because many people work hard in life. Many people work hard in life. There are people who wake up at 3, 4 in the morning, shower, get dressed, whatever, take 4, 5 taxis to get to work by 7, work a whole day, take 4, 5 taxis to get back home, then go back home and take care of a family. That person is working hard. The people who are in positions that don't pay much, the, the positions that people like to undermine and think that they're not anyway because they don't work hard. Those people work hard, guys. So many people work hard, but their jobs don't pay enough or the cards they were dealt, no matter how hard you work, you're just gonna, you're just trapped in this cycle. You know what I mean? That I hate that idea where people are like, the only reason why you don't have money or you're not successful is because you don't work as hard as me. First of all, let's not discount things like privilege, competitive advantage, and also the grace of God, luck, favor, grace, you know. But I just want to give a shout out to every single person who is waking up every day and working hard. I see you. I appreciate you. I honor you. You deserve your flowers. That person who's pushing themselves to wake up every day and go to work. A work that's not paying them enough and you can't pay your bills. Or the person who is paying them enough and you're enjoying your life. But I just want to give a shout out to every single person who is waking up every day and trying and working. And yes, I made this video about how, oh my gosh, it's a big adap adaption and it's so hard, but I wanna take time to acknowledge the fact that I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for where I am. I'm grateful where God has placed me. I'm blessed. I am so blessed. I'm beyond blessed. I'm, under I'm overwhelmingly blessed. I'm unbelievably blessed. I'm grateful to where I am and I give glory to God. I know there are many who wish they would be where I am right now, so I don't take it for granted. I'm very honored to be here. Um, and I also just want to say that it's okay to acknowledge your feelings and where you are. Because sometimes when you complain about certain things, people will say, Ooh, wow. Local person complains that they have to have a job. Ooh, wow. Have to work like everybody else. Ooh, wow. As people are like starving in insert whatever country. You know, like the existence of other people's problems does not diminish your problems. Everyone has problems that are big for them. Do you understand? That college student who their problem is like being tired all the time, you can say, Ooh, wow. you don't have a job. Uh, no, guys, like let's not minimize people's problems. Everyone has problems that are enough for them and are real problems for them. Just because someone else has it harder doesn't mean that that person's problems are not hard for them. So I just wanna take time to acknowledge and honor your struggles and your feelings that you're feeling right now and say they're real and they're valid and I hope you take time to work through them and give them the attention and grace that they need to work through yeah. them. Just wanted to acknowledge all those who again are just working hard every day and trying their best every day and acknowledge anyone going through a hard time, let you know that this too shall pass. And every single day that we wake up and go to work, wake up and go to school, wake up and keep trying is a day that we're progressing. You know, it's, it's, you're either moving towards something or you're moving backwards. You're either stagnating or you're progressing, but you are always constantly uh, moving, whether it's forward or back, you know. So shout out to everyone waking up and trying. Um, 
please keep your head up keep trying all of us are gonna keep trying even me guys yo every day i'm gonna go back to work Woo! anyway guys those are some of the things that have been super hard to adapt to or have been like really new to me as a person who's just transitioned from uni to full-time working please comment down below with what some of the hardest ad adjusting points have been for you something you're still working through something you've overcome please comment with tips 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 comment below comment below what videos you want to see overall i just want to hear from you guys thank you for giving me your time listening to me and giving me a space to share my emotions i also want to give you an opportunity and a space to share your emotions comment comment down below let's engage let's talk for the good times for the vibes say it with me now brother babies that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys bye